Thank you, bitches. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't come prepared for a speech, but uh, I gotta tell you, this is my favorite anime that I've ever worked on. Uh, close would have to be One Piece right after it, but uh, about 12 years ago, I was driving the Dragon Ball Z Hummer across the country. You guys remember the Dragon Ball Z Hummer? Yeah. Yeah, I asked if I could drive it because everyone asked if we did, and uh, I said, they said, who would be crazy enough to do that? And I went, oh, yeah. And I was just finishing the tour, and I get a call from Chris Savitt, and he says, uh, hey, uh, what are you doing after the tour? And I said, I don't know, I'm thinking about going back to California. And he said, well, if you come back to Texas, I've got a park that I think you'd be perfect for. It's called Loop on the Third. And so I checked it out and I was like, oh my God, this is such a cool show. So uh, I auditioned and got the part. And after I did the first movie, Chris said, you know, you seem to have a hold on this. Do you want to direct it? And I went, yeah. So I directed the second one, and before I knew it, I had directed 10 Loop on the Third movies for Funimation. Uh, but then I thought that was it, you know? That, that was the end of it, and I would never see this character again. And suddenly, this Fujiko Mine series comes up, and it is awesome. Have you guys seen this online yet? Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, after 40 years, they finally got it right. I mean, it looks like <laughs> Monkey Punch's comics come to life, right? It's amazing. Um, so I'm very excited to do this. What we're going to do is we're going to screen this, and then afterwards we're going to have a Q&A, so please stick around, and please uh, laugh at the funny bits, cry at the sad bits, and tell me how awesome I was. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.